I'd like to welcome you guys back to No Hippie Barbecue and Cooking. And this recipe here was a recipe that was requested by my son. He tried to make it and it didn't quite turn out as good as he wanted. So I'm going to see if I could pick up the slack for him. What I'll be making today is going to be some pasta carbonara. Now, I was trying to do some research on this recipe and there's a bunch of different ways it could be cooked and I kind of was getting a little bit confused and you know what I said? Listen, we're going to cut out all that paralysis by analysis. We're going to kind of take a little bit from here and a little bit from there and come up with our own recipe. Now this in no way am I saying is uh, an authentic recipe, but I think it's going to be delicious and listen, that's all that matters. It really doesn't matter how authentic it is. It matters how good it tastes. So, what are the ingredients I'm working with? All right. So, we have some eggs. And this egg is going to be kind of what one of the things that makes this creamy sauce. Now, typically I don't go with these little hippie cage-free eggs, but I went ahead and got those. Now, I'm using some thick-cut bacon. So, traditionally, I think that this is going to be uh, using... You can be using any number of Italian cured meats, but listen, we're going to keep it economical. And I wanted something that you could just go out to your normal grocery store and buy, so bacon is a good choice on that. Garlic was something that you saw in some, didn't see in others, but we're going to be going with a little bit of minced garlic. Some black pepper. Now, in some of these recipes, black pepper was like an ingredient that was used in abundance, and some it was none. So we're going to kind of lean a little bit towards the heavier side because I do like pepper. We have some Italian flat leaf parsley that's cut up, rough chopped. We have uh, onion that's going to be a rough chopped as well. And I have some thinly sliced basil. We have our cheese. We have Romano and uh, Parmesan blend. And I'm using some... Uh, you know, more of the fresher kind of pasta here. It's not homemade, but it is, it's not the dry pasta. So we're using that. And uh, that's pretty much about it. Let me see if I'm missing something. No, that's about it. Now, one ingredient that I did buy that I'm not using that I saw in some, in some of these recipes and not in others was uh, chicken stock. And I decided to leave that out. Some of the recipes that were kind of a little bit more on that authentic side did not use that. So we're just going to be using the pasta water to uh, add into this as well. So that's another ingredient that we're not going to have on this table that we're going to be using a little bit later. Now the first thing I need to do is we need to cook this bacon down. Now what we want to do, which was a mistake that my son had made, was he cooked the bacon a little bit too much. So we're going to cook this kind of on a lower heat and render out that fat. We want it a little bit crispy, but not super crispy. So let's get started on that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna render our bacon. Now there's no reason to cook this fast. So if it looks like it's cooking a little bit too fast, what you're gonna do is turn down the heat. Now if I didn't mention this earlier, I will have my ingredients and amounts in the description below. And I'm making about eight portions of this, some for tonight and some for me to eat. Uh, for lunch tomorrow. Now one of the good things about cooking this a little bit on the lower side is you're not going to have a whole bunch of this grease that's left over. If we have too much of that bacon grease that's left over we will drain off some of it and uh, we won't know about that until we're done cooking this. So let's give this about five minutes and we'll take a look at it again. Our bacon's been cooking about five minutes. It is starting to render down, but not quite where I want it. I think it's gonna take about five more minutes. So once it gets completely rendered, we'll pick it up with the next step. Now that we've got this bacon rendered down, and like I said, we rendered it down slowly, so there's not a whole lot of bacon grease that's left in there. Now it's time for us to add our onions. And we're gonna cook this down slowly as well. Now, I've seen several recipes. Some of these say to mince the onions a little bit more. I gave it a rough chop because I want this to have a little bit more of a bite. And we're going to cook this until the uh, onions become translucent. And I'm going to actually keep this on a low heat, although I am going to turn it up just a tad bit. And then once the onions become translucent, we're going to hit it with a little bit of that black pepper 
and our garlic that's over here. And while this is getting cooked down, listen, you don't need me to show you how to cook pasta. We're gonna cook our pasta per the directions on the box. And like I said, this is kind of a semi-fresh pasta, so it's only gonna take a few minutes. So I'll get working on that as well. So now that our onions have become translucent, let's add our garlic in and our black pepper. Stir that in. And I'm gonna turn this on super low. So let's recap where we're at. We have our bacon rendered down. We have our onions cooked till they're translucent. We've added our garlic, our pepper. Now we're gonna make what is gonna become our cream sauce. We have our eggs and those are at room temperature. We're gonna stir those up and we're gonna add our flat leaf parsley, our basil, and our Parmesan and Romano cheese. So let's get to that right now. And we're gonna kind of eyeball it. And we wanna save some of this to the end for garnish. And we're gonna save some of this cheese as well. Now, if I end up using all this cheese, I do have some more of this cheese left over. And that's almost looking like a custard right here. All right, let's go grab our noodles finish this up. So we have everything cooked down. We have our egg and cheese and basil parsley mixture done. And what I did was I did set aside a little bit of the pasta water. First thing I'm gonna do is add just a little bit of this to our, to our bacon onion mixture. And that's just kind of cool down the pan just a little bit. Just kind of stir that in. And we're on low, as a matter of fact, I just turned this off. There's really no reason to have that skillet on at this point. Let's add in our pasta. All right, that looks good to go. I'm gonna save some of that pasta water just in case we need it down the road. Let's add in our egg mixture. All right, that is it. I'm gonna to continue to incorporate this in. We're gonna plate up a dish. We're gonna add a little bit more of that Parmesan uh, Asiago cheese to it, or Romano, whatever I said at the beginning. Whatever it is, it is. We're gonna add that in, and uh, it's gonna be a wrap. So three words, I gotta say what this looks like, and that's delicious, let me tell you. Anyway, let's plate this up. I'm not gonna get too fancy with it. We're gonna plate this up family stizzle. All right, so we got that. Let's hit it with a little bit of this Parmesan cheese. A little bit of this basil. Some of this flat leaf parsley. And that's a wrap. Let's get down to this taste test. All right, guys, this is a wrap. While she's over here trying to Vogue and all this other kind of stuff, we're gonna get in here and taste this and see what's up. So her son made this the last time, so she had a chance to eat that. 
So now she's yeah. gonna get to see what the master came up with. <laughs> Wait, I need some bacon. Come here. Come here. I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm not even gonna say nothing. Listen. If you've been looking for a pasta carbonara recipe out there and all kind of stuff and you're stressed out because they have all these different techniques and stuff like this, listen, just follow your boy. Just follow this simple, easy recipe right here. This right here is good to go. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I do appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.